Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking NBA action, Celtics at Mavericks. We've got a promo code. It's conference hard season in college basketball, and every team is on upset alert. So the code is upset for 20% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. Mavs favored minus three, total of 230 and a half. Dallas is coming off a of back to back here. They're 13 and 15 on the season, 11 and 17 against the number. As of Monday night, uh, Boston is 15 and 15, both straight up and against the spread. Uh, Celtics have been favored in seven straight, but they've only covered in three, six and 11 against the spread. We've got Nick from the Insiders Room joining us to break this one down for us. Celtics, Mavs, uh, who do you like or what's the play? I am going to go with the under in this one. I just think that fatigue is going to be a factor here for both teams. You mentioned that Dallas, as we tape this, they're going to be uh, playing the Grizzlies. So yeah, fatigue is going to be a factor here uh, when we look at the home side playing in this one. I mean, the Mavericks, they really struggled to open the season. Uh, they've continued to play hard. They've made some adjustments. And as you mentioned, they go into that game with Dallas. They've won four of their last five. But Boston, I mean, even though it's had a night off, it, it played this crazy game against New Orleans where it went to overtime. It lost 120 to 115. I actually had the under 233 in that one. So it landed on 235. So it went to three pointer over and that was in overtime as well. Uh, so, I mean, obviously that's really one of the worst kind of beats you can have there when it goes to overtime and you lose just by a single bucket sure. in that overtime. Boston, it's been alternating wins and losses over its last five games. It's seen the total go over the number in three straight. But I do think that that's helped in driving this particular number up a, little, a few points higher than it should be. The Celtics could also be caught looking ahead to their game in Atlanta the following night. Uh, and so, I mean, that's a much more meaningful uh, conference contest there. So there's many si situational factors here that both of these teams are going to be tired. They could be looking ahead. They could be fatigued. Obviously, these are two teams that can score a lot. But I think that the overall situation points to you know, more of a defensive affair. So that's my official strongest call on this particular contest. It's on the under. And just something I would like to know, just because I haven't been in the business nearly as long as you have, sometimes when you see trends that have been trending in one direction, the Mavs have hit the over in seven straight. At some point, you'd think that trend has to correct itself. When you see streaks like that, how much stock do you put in that? Or what crosses your mind? Or is that something you just kind of mix in the stew that is your handicap? Or uh, No, what do I, I do. I do. I like, like to look at those streaks, you know, stand in front of those trains, these, these long against the spread streaks or straight up streaks. And I like to predict, you know, when that is going to happen. And so it also, it, it depends on the team on the winning streak or losing streak. But then it also depends on the team that they're they're up against as well. When you look at both of these teams, they've both been playing to a lot of overs of late. And so, yeah, I mean, the law of averages, it's flawed in many ways, but yeah, I've always felt that lo those lopsided trends and numbers, you know, they have a way of naturally correcting themselves over the short, mid and long term. So yeah, I do think, I do look at that and I do put a lot of stock into that. But I, as I say, you have to look at both teams, even, even right. if it's one of those teams which is on the long uh, losing or uh, winning streak. Right. I think that's one of the harder parts of handicapping is predicting you know, where it's going to go because it's kind of like the stock market. You want to buy low. Uh, you want to get in right. on this before, you know, you want to get in on GameStop or whatever stock it's been before it's right. sky high. You don't want to buy when it's yeah. at the very top. So. Uh, always something to consider long-term when you're betting on sports. Uh, that's why we have him on here. Uh, that's why he always provides some great insight. Nick from the Insider's Room, great stuff as always. Thanks for joining us.